hi guys welcome to today's session at trino code in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can create a five star rating system in your bubble.io app so uh, there are many use cases of this functionality it will allow your users to go and rate anything they can rate services they can rate songs products or whatever is relevant for your app so in this particular video i will uh, show you how to rate different restaurants so let's get into our editor okay so first thing that you need to do is you need to install the plugin so we'll go to plugins so i have already installed this plugin bootstrap star rating input if you haven't what you need to do is click here on add plugins just type here star and uh, it will come on top so this is the plugin by bubble it's absolutely free of cost you just need to click here to install since i've already installed it that's why it says uninstall so after your plugin is installed the second step that is very important for this is your database so now we'll go to the data here i already have different uh, data sets so since i want to rate different restaurants i'll select restaurant and I'll have three very important fields that are required for creating a five star rating system. Now, since in order to show the average star rating, we need to calculate the average. And in order to calculate average, uh, we need three basic fields. First one is definitely a total rating sums. Second is number of ratings. Third is average rating. So we need to store these three things separately. It's a simple math that you all know that average is basically the sum of all the items divided by number of items so here in this case the total rating sum we are storing as a number and the number of ratings is also of type number and this divided by this will be our average rating which is also stored as a number now after making these fields in our database now we'll go to our design so this is our design and what you need to do is so here I've already made the design that's why it shows plugin otherwise if you haven't what you need to do is you need to type here star rating and you need to drag and drop this plugin here so this is the plugin which we have installed there are many different uh, features in this plugin you can change the minimum and uh, maximum range of this plugin you can change the steps of this plugin you can change the size of the stars if you want really small you can go for extra small but for our case i'll keep it till small and medium so this is the plugin now this is a simple text that we want to submit rating for here in this drop down choose a restaurant i have searched for all the restaurants from my database so my type of choice is restaurant i've searched for all the restaurants and option caption is current options name so all my restaurants name will come in this drop down then what i can do is i can select any restaurant from this drop down and create a rating for that so if i click on submit rating start and edit workflow so here i have already added the three steps so what we need to do is when a button submit rating is clicked since our restaurants are already created now we just need to create a star rating for them so we don't need to create a new thing new thing we already have something and we need to make changes into that so what we'll do is our first step will be make changes to restaurant so we are searching for all the restaurants where name is whatever we select from the drop down because obviously we want to change in that particular restaurant so we'll add the constraint where name is equal to drop downs value now what do we need to change in that restaurant so here in the total rating sum i'll select this re particular restaurant's total rating sum so whatever is the sum of rating of that restaurant that sum plus the value of the star rating so suppose the total rating sum of any restaurant is 5 and if i give this restaurant again a 5 star rating then the total comes out to be 10 so this is how this math will work the next step is now since i have added the sum obviously i also need to increase the number of ratings that will come in the denominator which will be divided by the sum so here in number of ratings i will write this restaurant's number of ratings plus one so whatever is the rating already for that restaurant plus one 
So this way we are increasing the count of number of ratings. The third step will be calculating the average. So how do we calculate average is we will uh, divide the result of step 1 that is the total sum of the ratings by this restaurant's number of ratings. So this is how we will calculate the average rating and make sure that the constraint is same in all these three steps that we are making change in that particular restaurant only not any other. So we need to uh, put the name as constraint. Okay so these are the three steps that you need to do. Now coming back to the design. So this is the repeating group which I have added. So in this repeating group what I have done is I have searched for all my restaurants whatever is there in my database the entire full list here these are the basic things that I am showing the restaurants image location and here I am showing the restaurants average rating so whatever the rating I will submit from here for that particular restaurant it will reflect here so it will reflect in stars here and in terms of text it will reflect here so let's go and see for a quick demo how it works so currently you can see in my database i have these three restaurants and the average rating for all the three is zero so what i'll do now is i'll uh, submit a rating for any one of these i'll select cafeteria and company and i'll give it a five star rating and i'll submit the rating so you see as soon as I submit the rating here it is being reflected here. Now let's refresh the page and let's go again. I'll again rate this restaurant as a 5 star rating. Okay so it's still 5 star because both the times I've rated it 5 star. So the average comes out to be 5. Now let's go and let's rate this restaurant as 1 star and then see what happens. You see the rating dropped to 3. Now suppose if I give it a 2 star again. The rating further drops to 2.7. Now let's try for some other restaurant. So I'll again give it a 5 star rating. So it reflects here. Now again I'll give it a 5 star rating. Now let's go for 4. So you see the average rating dropped. So this is how rating system works in bubble and as I already told you in the beginning of video it has many use cases. So this is how you can create a 5 star rating system in your app using bubble.io. Yeah that's all for it. I hope you understood it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for more updates.